It isn't every day that we see a brand new Dragon Ball fan manga that covers the subject of turtles, but uh, today seems to be the day. Subscribe for more content. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. With YouTube the way it is right now, with CPMs and ad revenue cut in half due to the epidemic, consider supporting our Patreon where we offer access to our personalized Discord and your name at the end of every one of our videos, early access to Dragon Ball Reset content, support for your YouTube channel, and access to our Blackscape Loot Crate where you will be given a prize every month. So consider supporting any way that you guys can, and if you do, my family thanks you from the bottom of our heart. Turles is a fan favorite character in the Dragon Ball community, and for me he is the main antagonist to one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies, The Tree of Might, who in my opinion is one of the best animated Dragon Ball Z movies because every frame of this movie, every shot is gorgeous and to me that will always be the legacy of Turles having a really pretty movie with a really solid premise. Now Turles himself, we don't get much on him at all in the movie but his plot, his motivation, his scheme, Everything like that is fully fleshed out with the Tree of Might concept and he is extremely interesting in that way because he is trying to make this tree to grow these giant power inducing fruits so that way he can become more and more powerful. It is exactly what Fu is doing right now in a larger sense basically. So Turles even has Dragon Ball Super beat when it comes to schemes. And honestly, his design, he was technically one of, if not the first, evil Goku variant because he just looks exactly like Goku with the same hair and everything. Except a little bit darker and really, really sick armor. But there is a reason that he looks like Goku and that is what this Dragon Ball fan manga covers. It covers the story of Kid Turles coming up in the world on planet Vegeta. This Dragon Ball fan manga comes to you from Lovely Bada who, as always, I'm going to have a link to their Twitter in the description below and the top comment. Make sure you support the artist always. We begin on a very, very normal day and we cut to a young, much younger Raditz than what we saw in Dragon Ball Minus. And he is being told by who can only be Bardock, do not touch my scouter. And if you have kids, you know that they're going to be touching everything that you have, just messing around with it. And if you have anything valuable, do not leave it in front of them unless you want it to potentially, possibly get misplaced or broken. And Bardock ain't with that shit. He does not want Raditz to touch his scouter. So he hears someone calling him from the other room and he goes to investigate. And I just got to say, right now, this shot. This design for Bardock is one of my favorite designs. It's extremely simplistic. It looks like what he would wear underneath his Saiyan armor, but it still looks so goddamn cool. It's just a black skin tight jumpsuit, but it absolutely works for Bardock's design. Bardock says, son, what's going on here? And you can see the faint outline of what could be Goku's hair, but it's not Goku. And we get a panel that looks like it's Goku, but a little bit darker. And even the little gloves shows you that more than likely this is not Goku. And obviously the story is about Kid Turles, so this is Turles. I do want to stop the video here for a moment because a lot of people are going to be in the comment section saying that I'm pronouncing Turles wrong. I always pronounce it Turles, but I know it can be pronounced Turles. Um... I don't care or give a shit which way you pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it the way that I want to. And I like to pronounce it Turles. So Turles is approached by Raditz, Kid Raditz. And Raditz is like, are you trying to see Kakarot? And that's when Bardock chimes in. Oh, you're trying to see Kakarot. Obviously, Turles is in Bardock's room. So more than likely, Bardock was like wondering why you're in my room for. Which 
again, this is a very kid-centric manga. So if you got kids, you know that if they're in your room, they're up to something. Seeing how Turtles ends up, he could be in there plotting Goku's demise. But eh, this is a this is a good-natured, good vibes Dragon Ball fan manga. At least that's what I'm getting from this sense right now. Turtles is surprised that Goku has Bardock's hairstyle, similar to his hairstyle. And Gini tells him that, yeah, you all three have the exact same hairstyle. Raditz is unique that he has the longer hairstyle, but it seems like all of you guys have the same look. And that's when we get the cutest panel in this Dragon Ball fan manga, and that is Gine sits down with Bardock. They end up holding each other, and Gine is like, Aw, oh, they're so cute. Look at him. And she says, they remind me just like you. And Bardock's like, why? Because I act like a child or because I look like one? So I'm thinking that this is the first time that Turles has seen Goku since he's been born. I don't know why that could be because maybe Goku's a little bit too small. He looks more like an infant. Maybe he was just born. Maybe Raz has been helping out because he's the older brother. This is the first time Turles has met him. And Gine tells Turles that when he grows up, he's going to be one of your closest friends. And then Turles is like, what? My friend? And then he looks extremely happy. And that is the cutest face that I've seen any kid in the Dragon Ball universe have. It's crazy because it belongs to Turles and Gine basically just lied to him because in the future, he's gonna go to Earth, try to get the tree and by grown, eat its fruit, become powerful, and try to kill Goku. So they actually don't end up becoming friends, which is kind of sad, but this Dragon Ball fan manga is a good feels, wholesome content type of fan manga. Even the creators said that they wanted to write a Dragon Ball fan manga that was a little bit happier than your normal Dragon Ball fan manga. So this seems to be in that vein. I wanted to cover it for you guys because there aren't really many Turtles videos or fan mangas or fan projects out there. And I figured might as well give some shine to this one. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of this Dragon Ball fan manga. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, do you like the fact that Turtles is related to Bardock and Goku? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point in the video, you are now part of the hashtag end of video squad. Make sure you drop that comment with that hashtag for a chance to be featured in my next video. Today, I'm going to be responding to... Sonic KN. Remember that time when everyone was going crazy on who would win in a match between Goku and Superman? Yes, absolutely. I blame Death Battle Screw Attack on that one. And you guys know I don't have like the best history with Screw Attack, but I do blame them. They amped up the entire war between the DC fans and the Dragon Ball fans, where, you know, these two characters could live side by side, but when you power scale them and make them fight each other to the death, yeah, you kind of end up amping up both fan bases and igniting them into bloody feud, which was what ended up happening. But I'm glad that um, we're all very civil now. At least most of us. This is going to be Blackscape, signing off. Take care, guys.